Here we have a three-bar circuit. The uh, resistance we know here is 0 0.5 ohms. Uh, they're all the same because they're all the same length. Here's your line one, neutral line two. We also know that at each generator is uh, 120 volts. That's the source. And over here, we know load one is 30 amps and load two is 14 amps. And the direction of current in this one, we're going to use a uh, conventional. And that's where it flows from positive to negative. So if we draw, draw a loop, positive to negative, that would mean that uh, across this wire, it would go like this. And we'd see that current uh, is going this way. So current's coming this way. And we have 30 amps going into this node. Now on this one, same thing on this closed loop. We have 14 amps going into this load. And 14 amps over here going this way. This one was uh, 30 amps up here going this way. So we're following it through. And of course, uh, the, this part here is more negative. That's positive, negative, positive, uh, all the way back. Now, if we have 30 amps going into this node this way and 14 amps going out, Kirchhoff's law says that we should have 16 amps on this line going this way, which means if uh, the direction of negative and positive follows the direction of current, so in this case the direction of current is going this way, uh, so here's your negative and a positive, and it's the uh, difference of the 30 and 14, which is 16. Now we should be able to find the uh, voltage drops across here. Uh, this being 15 volts, this being 7 volts, and this being 8 volts. Now we know all the voltages except for load 1 and load 2. So here's how we find that. Uh, the uh, voltage at uh, generator 1 and this one here is going to be a voltage drop. So this is a rise. This one here is a drop. So V line 1. We'll subtract that. And then we're also going to subtract the load. We know that that is a drop. And uh, that'll be load 1. And this one here, it's also going the same direction. So it will also be a drop and that will be uh, the neutral, so the voltage at the neutral. And we know in a closed loop, uh, the sum of the voltage rises um, and the voltage drops equal zero. All right, so if that's the case, we can, uh, we can find V load one, which is uh, V gen one uh, minus V line, line 1, uh, minus V neutral equals V load 1. So we brought this one over to this side uh, to find our, that's the one we're looking for right up here, right? So I can write uh, V load 1 equals uh, the generator, 120 volts, minus V line 1, which is 15 volts, minus the voltage at the neutral, which was 8 volts. And so V load 1 is going to equal 97 volts. All right. So here we have 97 volts. And what about this one over here? How are we going to find load 2?
Well, same thing. Uh, the V gen two. And in which case here, uh, we're going this way now, the neutral. And you could see that it ends up being a rise. Uh, you can notice the positive here. So it'll be plus V neutral here, and then minus V load two minus V line two equals zero. All right, so we're looking for V load two. So V, well, we'll keep, we'll keep it in order. So V gen two plus V neutral minus V line two equals V load two. So we put that over here by uh, putting V positive V load two uh, on this side and positive V load two on that side and canceling them out. So we have 120 volts plus the voltage at the neutral, which is eight volts. Subtract the voltage at line two, which is seven volts, and that will equal V load two. So V load two is going to equal 121 volts.